Jesus showed no partiality <laughs> towards anyone. Welcome back, everybody. Today is Friday of the fourth week of Lent. And we continue reflecting upon Father Fernandez's book, In Conversation with God. Today, our topic is illness. I was in Calcutta in 2007. One of the homes of Mother Teresa is called Caligat, which is the home for the dying. And they had this really beautiful spot where they would wash the bodies of the people who would come in. You know, people off of the street, they were very dirty and maybe hadn't had a bath in many, many, many years. And right above this bathing station, it said the body of Christ. And it was just absolutely beautiful because it m reminded us. I'm gonna get the body of Christ out there. <laughs> reminded us that, um, that every person was to be treated as though it was Christ himself entering into that building. Are you able to get in? We're okay. <laughs> now when the sun was setting, all those who had any that were sick with various diseases brought them to him, and he laid his hands on every one of them and healed them. Okay, first of all, what stood out to me was the fact that he laid his hands on every single one of those people, regardless to whether how contagious they were or what they looked like or their level of cleanliness or, you know, their beliefs. Jesus showed no partiality <laughs> towards anyone. And I think how nowadays it's like, oh, you're sick. Oh, maybe we shouldn't like go visit those people or maybe we should stay away or, you know, oh, our kids have runny noses. Maybe you don't want to get together. I understand to a certain degree, but our Lord, when it came time to doing his ministry, hmm. it didn't matter. <laughs> Jesus pays yeah. great attention to each one of the sick and gives him the whole of his attention because each person, and particularly a person who is suffering, is very important to him. Every single one is always welcomed by Jesus who has a compassionate and merciful heart towards everybody, without exception, especially for those... <laughs> she doesn't even normally do that. I know. Who has a compassionate and merciful heart towards everybody, without exception, especially for those who are most in need. I don't know if any of you follow The Chosen, um, the, the video series. We haven't ca gotten caught up on everything, but there's this one episode where Jesus is gone the entire day and he comes home late, late at night. And as he's coming home from a day of, of ministering to the people, healing them and doing exactly what this says, showing no partiality, being compassionate and having a merciful heart towards everybody, his, his tunic is covered. He's got like blood stains. He looks dirty. He's sweaty. And it just made me think, you know what? He didn't shy away from any of this. He was there with the people. And I think oh, another thing is that we can't compare our sufferings. Like there's nothing too small for Christ to care about. So for example, you know, sometimes we think, oh, but my, my neighbor's suffering with this, or these people went through this tragedy. It doesn't undermine the fact that we're going through small things or big things, that we should bring all things. Nothing is ever too small for God. We who want to be faithful followers of Christ must learn from him how to treat the sick and how to love them. So we have this encouragement to love the sick, to treat the sick, to, to visit them. But you're getting a glimpse into our life. Like, how do we, as parents of six children, the oldest is 11, and the seventh is on the way, go visit the sick. I just want to point out... Different lives are at different stages and that looks differently. I have no doubt. Yeah, it's important to visit the sick. So who are the sick in my life? Who are those who need consolation, who are crying? You know what? I want to show you. Every day, I have people crying uncontrollably in my life. <laughs> Every day, I have people who are totally unconsolable. And those are the little people in our life. Those, for me, are the are the sick right now. Runny noses, the rashes, the I don't know why you're not feeling good, but you just threw up. Those are the things that we deal with on a daily basis. And so for, for me, that's where our sick is. I realize that many of you aren't like this. You're, you're in different stages of life. And I would encourage you, do what you can according to the stage 
of life that you find yourself in. I know something that Janelle, you do, is you make time for when there's a mom who's had a baby. What do you do? Oh, I just try to bring them a meal. Yeah. So sometimes, honestly, it's like a rotisserie chicken from the store. <laughs> it's all I can manage. <laughs> but that's what we try and do. This is according to our stage of life. But you know, there's also other things too, like maybe some of the sick come in form of emails. You know, brokenness, people who are just suffering in other ways. You know, it says in, in Father Fernandez's writings today that sometimes the sick isn't always a physical sickness, but it's also a spiritual sickness or just an emotional sickness. And all those people, Christ came for them too. There will be moments in our life when we perhaps are sick ourselves or people around us are sick. This is a treasure that God gives us to look after. You know, sometimes it's difficult to take care of sick people or sick children or sick spouses, mm -hmm. you know, but these, this is a treasure. This is a time for us to serve in that capacity. Another thing that Father Fernandez says is periods of illness are very special occasions that God allows so that we can co-redeem with him and purify ourselves from the stains of sin that remain in our souls. You know, I once heard a priest say that, let's say we are given a diagnosis that maybe death will be around the corner. This priest was just saying that that is actually in some ways merciful because we are given time. It's Our death is not immediate or instant, but we're given time to prepare our souls for death. That we can see that as a grace because God wants to purify us before he leads us home. So I was sick this past fall for about three weeks. I never got out of bed. If you want to sh hear my experience, I shared that. I'll link at the end of this video and you can learn more a little bit about my experience and that topic. Um, thanks for putting up with us in our life as it comes to you and share with us what stood out to you and why in the comments below. Uh, say the rosary, it's right up there. Ooh, and it's Friday, the Stations of the Cross. Oh yes, I'll link at the end of the video for that as well. God bless you guys.